Hello, my dear friends. I welcome you all to my daily dose. So I am myself, Dr. Rajesh Guba. I am a cardiologist. I am also the mentor for teaching general medicine for exams like NEET PG, AIMS, and as well as PGA and JIPMA. So as the part of today's daily dose, we have a 44-year-old woman. She presented with episodes of the headache, anxiety, sweating, and slow pulse rate. And at the time of her initial consultation, her blood pressure is 150 by 95 in a seated position. But 24-hour ambulatory monitoring shows a peak of 215 by 130 millimeters of mercury that is associated with the symptoms which have been described above. Which of the following would be your initial diagnostic procedure? The options are MRI scan of the abdomen and pelvis. Second option, measurement of random plasma catecholamines. Third option, measurement of urinary metanephrines over several 24 hours period. Third, fourth option, glucose tolerance test. And fifth option, pharmacological provocation using clonidine. Now, see, what are the clinical points in the patient? The clinical points in the patient includes the headache, anxiety, sweating, and presence of accelerated hypertension. Now, all these points, they are suggestive of that the patient is having pheochromocytoma. Right, so this is the clinical diagnosis of the individual. Now, why does the individual with a pheochromocytoma has headache? That is because of hypertension. Next, why does a patient of the pheochromocytoma has anxiety and as well as sweating is? That is because of increased basal metabolic rate. So, catecholamines, remember, they will increase the BMR. And what is actually your pheochromocytoma? Pheochromocytoma, it's a tumor which is originating from the chromaffin cells of the adrenal medulla. And what does this chromaffin cells secrete? These chromaffin cells, they secrete catecholamines. So, if you take the catecholamines, they include epinephrine and as well as norepinephrine. And these catecholamines, they will cause vasoconstriction and they will increase the blood pressure of the individual. And that is the reason why the individual is having hypertension. Now, how do you manage this particular patient? See, first and foremost, the very important thing in the diagnosis is, in case of pheochromocytoma, you have to check for the urinary metanephrines. This is the first line investigation. Right, you have to check for the urinary metanephrines. And one of the very important urinary metanephrine, like what we have, is VMA, vanillyl malic acid levels. And this urinary metanephrines has to be checked in a 24-hour urinary sample. So remember, the first-line investigation or the initial diagnostic procedure in this particular individual will be measurement of urinary metanephrines over 24-hour period. Now, once you confirm that the individual is having pheochromocytoma based on increased levels of urinary metanephrines, that is the point when you have to do MRI of the abdomen and pelvis in order to look for the tumor which is originating from the adrenal medulla. So that is a very, very important point. Now, after, now if you take the normal vanillyl manlic acid levels, Normal vanillyl manlic acid levels is around less than or equal to 6 mg per 24 hours. That is a normal VMA levels. Now in patients with pheochromocytoma, what will happen? These levels, they will be elevated. Right? The levels of your VMA will be elevated. Okay? So that is the first line investigation. After confirming by your pheochromocytoma, then you go ahead with the MRI or the imaging studies to confirm your diagnosis. Next. The other point is, how do you treat these particular patients of pheochromocytoma? The treatment of your pheochromocytoma is a surgical resection of the tumor. That is the treatment of choice for the pheochromocytoma. But in patients with pheochromocytoma, the blood pressure is very high. So what you need to do is, you need to manage this particular blood pressure by giving the antihypertensives. And what is that particular antihypertensive we give is? So before surgery, like you have to see, the blood pressure is being maintained around 160 by 90. And for that, we give an alpha blocker that is phenoxybenzamine. Phenoxybenzamine, it is an alpha blocker. And the other alpha blockers that can be given is, you can give the oral prajosin or intravenous phentolamine. These can also be used, but they are mainly used to manage the paroxysms. 
while awaiting adequate alpha blockade. Now, even during surgery also, if the individual develops any paroxysms, the ideal drug is intravenous fentolamine drip. That is when there is paroxysms during surgery. Or if there is intraoperative hypertensive crisis where the blood pressure is going more than 220, more than 230, in such clinical scenario, you need to give intravenous nitroglycerin drip. But the treatment of choice is surgical resection of the tumor. Now, you take this fourth option, that is pharmacological provocation using clonidine. Now, why is this particular clonidine required? Let me explain you about this. Now, for suppose, when you are doing the urinary vanil mandelic acid levels for 24 hours, if the VMA levels, if they are increased more than fourfold the upper limit, then you can confirm the diagnosis that to be pheochromocytoma. But only the point is, if the levels are increased, but they are less than fourfold, that is the point when you need to do the clonidine suppression test in order to rule out false positive increase in the catecholamines. And the dose of the clonidine we use is 0.3 milligrams. And what is your clonidine? It is centrally acting as sympatholytic agent and it is also an antihypertensive drug. And what are the causes for your false positive increase in your catecholamines? Due to increased autonomic activity, that is due to increased sympathetic or adrenergic activity, there, be, there can be false positive increase in catecholamines. So in order to suppress that, we use this clonidine suppression test. So the answer to this particular question here is measurement of urinary metanephrines over several 24 hours period. So this is a very short video on the pheochromocytoma management and as well as the investigations how you will diagnose pheochromocytoma. So I hope you might have liked this particular short video on pheochromocytoma. So please do follow us on the daily dose for the daily updates. Thank you very much.